Back here on the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Zippervivi, also for WrestlingObserver.com. I try to be as fair as possible. I was as fair as possible telling you about Maki Ito in the last segment. And then you nerds on the chat have to just be all nerdy again. First one I heard is, oh, well, Maki Ito is just, she's definitely not Lance and Brian's. They're not the right demo for Maki Ito. You know the average age of an AW viewer is? 47. Okay? What? That's older than me. All right? Jesus. So, like, uh, it God. seems like we got a problem here then, right? All right? There's and a then, real problem. Then the other person goes, well, she's only been wrestling four years. Oh, come on. Okay, listen. Back in the day, if you were doing this for four years and you weren't any good, you were hopeless. Do you understand? Now, things have changed. All you youngsters that aren't in my demo with Lance, now you all hear about all these guys in the Performance Center. It's like, that person's been wrestling for eight years and they're not very good. Oh, well, you know, it takes 20 years to be any good at wrestling. Brother, <laughs> no. No. Dude, okay? only Kurt Angle was able to, to pull it That's a horrible age. excuse. It's only been four years. Uh, you don't hit your stride till you hit 40. No, yeah. this, is, this is stupid. This is what you've been taught... By by people that do something weird at some, you I know, mean, what? come on. Honest to God, you're years. bearing the lead here for me because 47 is the average age of the Impact viewer or no, the, the Impact AW, the AEW yeah. viewer. Yeah. Actually, it's the, you might as well be the average age of that's every still an 18 viewer. to 49. Jesus, you don't even want to know what the NXT though. and the well, these are NXT, way up there. You're dead apparently. I mean, you're like 75 years old. You just don't have the like, your, the arthritis on your hand is so bad you can't even press the remote down to get it to like whatever channel airs the Johnny Carson replays, my retro TV or whatever it is. I mean, I it's bad. This is bad, and everybody always fights about numbers. Now they won't fight about numbers anymore. They'll just compare numbers when NXT moves to Tuesday nights, but like. There's 1.5 million wrestling fans to 2 million of them out there, and they are aging at a ridiculous rate. I know our Twitch chat brings it down immensely. Obviously, if we were including, you know, mental age, maybe it's down a little bit more there, too. But, like, that's terrifying for everybody involved. And AEW uh, hopefully is being proactive with this. It seems to be everybody's going to point to their old man signings and, and point that out. But we talked about it with the other shows. They have a lot of young people, and those young people need to attract other young people and make this thing, you know, make this the, the thing to watch, make wrestling, you know, cool again, and not just such a ridiculous niche product where there's just a couple of dudes for the most part that watch it. This is not good. Like, this whole thing desperately needs to change. Uh, this person here using the old boomer excuse. Brian can't understand young people's wrestling. What's young people's wrestling? This is an yeah, honest question. Is what yeah. wrestling right now actually appeals to young people? Tell me. I want to know since I don't get it. Yeah. I'll wait for an I'd answer. I'd like to right know here. too, actually, in that because with that, with the average ages, you know, uh, go ahead. I mean, you realize um, that, like, when I mentioned 47 for uh, AEW, they're still, like, the youngest. They're the youngest skewing. They're the youngest. So find me the one that actually appeals to the, the 18 year olds. I'm waiting. Uh, hmm. Uh, Paw Patrol? No, that's not wrestling, buddy. Hmm. Let's see. Nobody even said Game Changer? Nobody said any indie no. out there, right? I got, no, no, I got one, no answer yet. Not one popped up. Let's Twitch? Jello no, Re no, no, Jello no. wrestling is every age. Come okay. on. It's outdated, though, too. Well, I don't it's see like it here. I, I still... Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You know what? Hey, this person says 18-year-olds don't watch TV. Actually, they do, but they don't watch wrestling. It's yeah. it's easy to... You know, you can look at the, the ratings chart and find out what the 18-year-olds are watching. They're watching a lot of stuff, not wrestling. I'm still waiting here. Mm -hmm. This person says Fortnite. That's not wrestling. Soccer. No. That's not wrestling. No. Mm hmm. Yeah. No good answers yet. No. Where, where was that guy that yelled at me for being a boomer? He hasn't seemed to answer yet. What the what the young people's wrestling is nowadays. I like Teen Titans Go, but that's not wrestling. It's not, nothing on Cartoon Network is wrestling. Better Below Deck. Wrestling. Yeah, that's not wrestling. No. Nope. Although a bit of below tech did wrestling, that'd be a hot show. Well, I was going to say better book than wrestling. I mean, a lot of these concepts are exactly the same as far as like you know selling the product, and uh, these these places do a lot better job of it to younger people, and that's why we have forty seven as the uh, the average age for AEW. 
Yeah, no one, no one came up with an answer for what young people's wrestling is nowadays. I, mm. I, it's, it's hard to believe. No. Only fans? This person says, sorry, I didn't realize wrestling was doomed among young people. I didn't say it was doomed, but I pointed out there is no wrestling promotion that is regularly, like their median age is below the mid-40s. So what do you want me to do about it? You're blaming me when that's the reality. So I don't want to hear that I'm like out of touch and I don't get wrestling because I'm old when I'm actually younger than the average age of every wrestling promotion in this country right now. So what do you want me to do about it? This generation is the one that keeps it alive, seemingly. (laughs) You know, the ones that grew up on boom periods in the 80s and then in the 90s again and... You know, the the rise of the indies, whatever it is, it's like we're all the ones aging, obviously, but we're the ones who continue to watch wrestling no matter what. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.